I'm going to show you how to send Solana NFTs into your Ledger Nano S Plus for under $5. And the reason you need $5 to do this is because I'm going to teach you how to buy a Solana NFT for very little money so you can use this as a test. And then I'll show you how to send that Solana NFT into your Ledger wallet and then also back from your Ledger wallet into your other original Solana account. That way you know how to do this both ways. Now the first step to all of this is you're going to need to install the Solana app on your Ledger device. And you're going to start that by plugging your Ledger into your computer and then open Ledger Live on your computer as well and you're going to need to unlock your device by entering the pin code and once you've launched Ledger Live you're going to go over to the left and you're going to see this little manager button once you click on that you're going to get this one here and you're going to need to allow Ledger Manager on your device by just hitting both of the buttons at the same time and now you're going to see the Ledger Nano S Plus and any apps that you have installed I currently don't have any apps installed so what we're going to do is search for Solana and then we're going to want to install this on our Ledger and once we've installed this we're going to see on our Ledger that we can now see the little Solana logo on our device. Now that that's finished, we need to install a non-custodial wallet on our browser. That means we need to install a wallet like MetaMask, but for Solana. And in this case, that means installing Phantom Wallet. That's my favorite and it works very well. And if you're unfamiliar, a non-custodial wallet just means that you hold the private keys, the seed phrase, you're in charge of it, and you don't have some third party controlling it, like with Coinbase or Binance or another exchange. All you're gonna do is open up your browser and go to phantom.app. And this is the website and you're going to need to use one of the browsers that they support. So Chrome, Brave, Firefox, or Edge. If you have Safari, you're going to need to download one of these other browsers in order for this to work. Now, all you need to do is hit download here at the top right and then come choose which one you need to download. For my situation, since I'm downloading this on Firefox, I'm going to hit add to Firefox. Hit add right there and then Phantom is added. Now you're gonna see this tiny little extension right up here called Phantom. And once you open that up, you're gonna to need to either import a wallet or create a new wallet. But for this example, I'm gonna create a new wallet. So just hit create a new wallet and then choose a password. Now it's gonna give you this screen and this is your secret recovery phrase, also known as your seed phrase, also known as your private key. Now I cannot stress enough how important it is to safeguard your seed phrase, whether it's with a hot wallet like this one on your Phantom or whether it's your cold storage wallet like your Ledger. Never share it with anybody and the best practice is to keep them offline. When you hit reveal, you're gonna be able to see the seed phrase for this wallet. Check the box, I saved my seed phrase and then hit continue. And now you're all done and your phantom wallet is completely set up. Now the next step after you've set up your phantom wallet is you're going to need to send some funds into your phantom wallet. And you can also wait on the step to send your funds directly into your ledger wallet. But I'm going to send funds into this phantom wallet that we just set up because I'm going to be showing you how to also buy an NFT into this wallet and then sending that NFT into your ledger account. So the first thing you need to do is go over to your preferred crypto exchange, whether it's Coinbase or Binance or some other exchange. But for me, I'm just going to use Coinbase because I use it pretty often. You then need to buy some Solana or exchange some other cryptocurrencies that you already have for Solana. You're then going to go into your phantom wallet that you just created and hit copy up at the top. So that way you copy your crypto address for your new Solana account that you just made in phantom wallet. You're then going to go back into Coinbase and hit that send or receive button once you're on the Solana asset page. You'll determine how much of your Solana that you want to send. In my case, I'm sending it all. And then you're going to paste the address that you just copied from your phantom wallet. You're going to get a preview with all the info and you can hit send and send the Solana into your phantom wallet. Then you just wait a minute or two and you're going to see that money show up in that phantom account. Now the next step is to connect your phantom wallet to your ledger. Now if your ledger is not already connected, you're going to need to connect it to your computer and unlock it with your pin code. Now once your ledger is connected, you're going to come up here to Solana on your computer. And keep in mind, I did switch to Chrome versus Firefox because I was just setting up a new phantom wallet on Firefox to show you how it's done. But I'm going to use my phantom wallet I have on Chrome. So come up here to Chrome and you're going to need to enter your password. Once you've signed in, you're going to see your balance and you need to hit these three lines right up here at the top left and hit add or connect wallet and then come down here and hit connect hardware wallet use your ledger wallet now you're going to get this window where it says search for wallet and then connect a new wallet so that's the button you want to hit continue now you're going to need permissions so you're going to hit nano s plus connect and then open the solana app on your ledger nano s plus or whatever other ledger you're using this also will work for the ledger nano s and the ledger nano x you're going to get this confirmation that it sees your ledger nano hit continue again and then you're going to select your wallet address now what i like to do is to go back into the ledger live app you're going to need to add an account for solana and then you're going to be able to verify what your solana address is 
on your ledger. You can then go into that account, hit receive, and you'll be able to reveal what your Solana address is. You can then verify that that's the right address and hit add account. And then when you go back up to the Phantom extension on your browser, you're gonna see now that you have the option for your ledger with another wallet address. This is your ledger wallet. This has a private key stored on your ledger and it's never gonna touch the internet. Now, if you have the issue where you're connecting your ledger to your Phantom wallet, but the address that you saw on the account that you set up on Ledger Live does not match up with this address that you're getting on the Phantom, the best thing that I found to do is to just go ahead and finish connecting your ledger to your Phantom wallet. Then go back into Ledger Live and add a new account. And the new account that you're gonna add is going to populate with that address from the Phantom wallet that you just connected to your Ledger device. So now you'll be able to see the same address in your Ledger Live as well as in your Phantom, both on your Ledger, both completely secure. Now I'm gonna show you how to buy a Solana NFT so that way you can send it over to your Ledger device. And keep in mind, you can buy NFTs directly with your Ledger device, but I'm showing you this method. That way, if you already have Solana NFTs, you'll know how to send them into your new wallet. But if you want to just buy them directly through your Ledger, you can do that as well. So come over here to Magic Eden and then bottom left, hit stats. And then you're gonna hit this button, ME floor price right here to sort them by their floor prices. And then what I like to do is just scroll all the way down until you see the ones that are extremely cheap, like 0.01 Solana, which is really just about $1. And the reason you wanna find these really cheap ones is because I like to use these as a test whenever I'm setting up a new Solana wallet and connecting my ledger before sending any high value NFTs. I like to just buy a cheap one or create a cheap one and use it as a test. So I found these ones super cheap called Baby Picks Monkeys. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna go up to Phantom and make sure that you're in the wallet that you want to connect to Magic Eden. In this case, I'm in my hot wallet, the original one we connected and the one that has my funds in it. Then we come back down here to connect wallet, hit Phantom and then hit connect. We can see that it's asking to view our balance and wallet activity and request approval for transactions. So that's totally fine. Now we can come down here to buy now and then we're gonna get this other message saying approve the transaction. We can see the network fee and the total price and then hit approve. We're gonna get this window here that says, congrats, do not close this page. Your transaction is being fulfilled. And then this little congrats message saying that our transaction was approved. So now we can come back into our phantom wallet, see our little collectibles and see that we have this NFT inside. So now in order to send this NFT into your ledger, you're gonna to need to hit these three buttons right here, hit ledger and then copy your ledger address. Then you're gonna go back into your initial wallet that it has the NFT and you're gonna go over to it and then click on that NFT and then hit send. Then you just paste your address, hit max because we want to send one of these tokens and hit next. You're gonna see the network fee and then you can hit send and then you're gonna just wait for confirmation for it to send it over to your ledger. Now you're gonna see this message that it has sent over to your new ledger. And so we can come back over here to our ledger account and verify to see that this NFT did get sent over to our ledger wallet. And keep in mind that you do not have to have your ledger connected to your computer or even turned on while you're sending anything into your ledger. You only need to have your ledger connected when you're sending things out of your ledger device. For example, if I wanna take this NFT and send it back to that wallet that I just sent it from, all you're gonna to need to do is hit send and then paste the address for the wallet you wanna send it to, hit max, hit next, and then hit send. You then get a message saying that you need to connect your ledger to your computer and open the Solana app. Then once you connect your ledger, you're gonna see the message pop up on your ledger wallet saying that you need to confirm the transaction to send the tokens. So you can confirm the transaction by hitting both buttons and then it's gonna be sent over into the wallet that you just specified it'd be sent to. So that's how to buy Solana NFTs and send them into and out of your ledger. If you have any questions, let me know down below and thanks for watching.